hey guys a oh, very good evening so yesterday or day before yesterday i'm not sure um i had given a question of the day on the community tab and uh, this was the question so uh, it was an easy question i will sh um, show you the um uh, from where i had taken up this question so this was published in journal of organic chemistry in the year um 2020 so i had taken up or i had made a question from here and the question actually comprises of uh, two important uh, reactions okay one is uh, basic one two addition using Grignard reagent and the other one um, that is important reaction from exam point of view is uh, peterson olefination okay peterson olefination so this is the reaction um, that you had to predict in this question okay so as you can see over here we have your trimethylsilyl uh, protecting group okay or the functional group and over here also in the Grignard reagent also we have this trimethylsilyl group okay so what is the role of this um, Grignard reagent over here it is going to give one to addition right so this is uh, nothing but our Grignard reagent so you can maybe just uh, you know write it as for convenience CH2 minus and then uh, TMS group attached to the CH2 minus. So the CH2 minus, what it is going to give, do? It's going to give one to addition. So it's just going to be reacting with this carbon, um, uh, carbonyl carbon, and it is going to form the alcohol. So as you can see, in option number one, we have the formation of alcohol, and in option number two, also in the we have the formation of alcohol. But unfortunately, if you see that in three and four, there is no such formation of alcohol, right? So there is we are not adding any kind of a group which might lead to elimination. Okay, as you can see over here, there is some kind of elimination. Um, so um, how would this elimination reaction take place is that if we have some kind of a proton source which maybe protonates this oxygen the OH group over here let's say it protonates it and turns it into a li good leaving group and let's say if we have any kind of fluoride source or any other uh, nucleophile, nucleophile which might bind to this TMS group okay TMS is what trimethylsilyl so there's a silicon and F fluoride and silicon have a very strong um, affinity towards one on one another so there might be a possibility in that case that this elimination reaction might happen right but we are not adding anything any such source over here which might lead to an elimination reaction we are not adding any kind of acid nor are we add, adding any kind of a group which might go and bind to the silicon right so that is why we can cancel out option number three and we can cancel out option number four right so now we are left with one and two. So the second step, if you see over here, is uh, where the Peterson olefination comes into the picture. Um, so let me just maybe uh, erase this off. Um, yeah, so let, let's just erase this off. Yeah. So now we are left with either option number one and two. So what is the difference? If you see over here, um, this is a Bronsted acid. Basically, it's a source of H, H plus. And, uh, um, you know, general organic chemistry will also help you over here because if you see this NH proton is extremely acidic because if you remove this H plus, if you, if you take it as a source of H plus, you will be left with N minus over here, right? And then this, uh, and, and this, uh, you can say anion is extremely stable because it is, um, you know, attached to two electron withdrawing groups and plus it is in conjugation as well. So that is the reason why uh, this would be a very good uh, Bronsted acid or a source of H plus and what it is going to do is now it is going to protonate this um, OH group and uh, it is going to basically form OH2 um, a positive and then elimination reaction will take place and this is what is Peterson uh, olefination but uh, let's understand Peterson olefination uh, a bit more before coming back to the question and seeing why the answer is option number one so um, if you talk about Peterson olefination so as you can see we have um, a, a silyl anion over here okay as you can see there's a ketone okay so we have a ketone and we have a silyl anion present okay um how can you generate this silyl anion there are many ways like um, i will just um, maybe uh, showcase it to you when we go back to the question so if you have a carbon ion of this form okay a uh, silyl um, carbon ion okay uh, um, um, so what will happen this carbon ion over here is going to attack this carbon and it is going to form a OH group over here. Okay, so this is nothing but a Grignard reagent. If you remember, we had a Grignard reagent over here. Instead of this carbon ion, we had a Grignard reagent, right? Um, so that was, uh, we had a TMS group. So TM, instead of this SIR3, you can write TMS group also, right? Trimethylsilyl group. Um, uh, so this carbon ion attacks the carbon and that was the first step of the reaction in the question where we formed the alcohol. And then if you add an uh, add a acid or a base, the elimination reaction takes place. But this is very interesting uh, because over here, um, you know, you can get a different um, isomer. How you can get that is 
um let's say if we are having basic conditions and we are having asset asset conditions we can get two different products so what happens is that if we have basic conditions um so remember first this intermediate has to form okay so as you can see we have a silyl anion the silyl anion attacks the carbon over here the carbonyl carbon it is a source of uh, nucleophile and it forms this particular intermediate right so what happens is that if the conditions are basic um this oh uh, will be abstracted okay and it will form o minus and then oxygen and silicon have a strong affinity towards one one another so as you can see over here this o minus attacks the silicon it it forms a four membered ring it's very similar to wittig reaction okay the intermediate is very very similar to wittig reaction so this o minus attacks the silicon it forms a four membered ring and then as you can see over here the elimination reaction takes place and this elimination is a syn elimination this is very important as you can see it is highlighted over here it's a syn elimination because when you add a base this o minus and the silicon have to bind um to each other right so they have to be in the same plane in order to bind to each other that is why the elimination is syn syn elimination over here and you get this particular uh, isomer but when the conditions are acidic see the, this intermediate is same in both the cases okay let me just highlight it maybe with a black pen so this intermediate over here and this inter intermediate is same over here but in acidic conditions what happens is and uh, that the elimination mechanism is e2 elimination or anti elimination because now what happens is they do not they cannot bind to each other in acidic conditions like they did in basic conditions because now the um, oxygen over here is protonated okay because the oxygen is protonated now this group uh, another you, you can say another molecule since we are having acidic conditions there is uh, there is a uh, um you know another uh, mole of or another molecule of water and what that is going to do is that is going to attack the silicon because oxygen and silicon have a strong affinity towards one one another and now this is a very good leaving group okay this is the oxonium ion uh, the oh which is protonated with another hydrogen so this is the oxonium ion it's a very good leaving group because it will lead to elimination of water so this water molecule attacks the silicon and this bond over here breaks and this bond migrates over here and leads to the elimination of water molecule so in the end what you have is anti elimination so over here you are having the syn elimination over here you are having an anti elimination and that's how you get two different products okay now where can it be utilized um i have got a very good example for you for example if you see over here um if if uh, if a molecule like this is given to us and let's say in the first case the conditions that are given to us are acidic okay so let me maybe take a um, take a green pen so let's in the first case the conditions given to us are acidic okay so this o b n group is going to act as a locking group so even though it is a cyclohexane uh, structure it will not flip it will be it will stay in its um, orientation so now what is going to happen if i have acidic conditions so in acidic conditions if you see um these two groups are anti to one one another okay so in acidic conditions what will happen this oxygen will get protonated okay in fact both of them will get protonated but elimination cannot happen in this case because you can see both of them are syn but in acidic conditions we need we need to have anti elimination that means the oh group and the um trimethylsilyl group have to be in the opposite um planes right but over here they both are in the same planes so in this case what will happen the elimination will take place from here and in acidic conditions we will end up with this product like the double bond will come over here and then we'll have the oh the alkene will form in this particular place and we'll have the obn group okay so this is going to be the product in the case of acidic conditions but at the same time if i have basic conditions okay so in basic conditions what will happen now you know in basic conditions we have syn elimination so in this case what will happen in the basic conditions this oh is going to be uh, deprotonated and this o minus and silicon will bind together it will form a four membered intermediate and then you as you see this will break off and this will break off so in the case of basic conditions we will end up with the double bond in the other direction or in the other orientation so now we have the oh above the plane over here okay and we would have the obn group over here so you can see it could be a very good two marker or a four marker for the csi net examination so the only thing that you need to remember is that you start off with an allyl um Uh, uh, like a uh, a silyl carbonyl okay and after that um you end up with the uh, with this particular intermediate and then the acidic or the basic conditions uh, determine which isomer you would be getting right so coming back to the question um so once you have formed this um you are adding a bronsted acid that is acidic conditions um but over here it does not matter actually because um Uh, over here the stereochemistry or the um, you know what kind of alkene is going to form whether it's going to be cis or trans does not matter because it is going to be a terminal alkene that is going to be formed so what is going to happen as you can see this uh, 
uh, in acidic conditions this oh group will be protonated and then uh, a, a water molecule that is uh, present in excess that is going to attack the silicon and then this bond is going to migrate over here like this and this water molecule is going to eliminate so in the end we will end up with this particular product so the correct answer for this question is option number one so i hope uh, you found this um, question of the day helpful and you found the explanation of peter olefination um, helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up um, support me in some way maybe just comment um, if you if you admire my videos if you like my videos do comment um, i would love to read your comments even if i'm not able to reply that is just a source of motivation for me so anyway um, thank you once again for watching it i'll see you in the next video really soon take care bye bye Hey guys, so I'm a verified educator on Unacademy and along with that I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there. That is Ace Haiti. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform.